Hi friends and fellow earth angels, it's Gladys and welcome back to another one of my weekly Sunday card readings and this spread will start by covering May 10th to the 16th, 2020 or whenever you're guided to watch as I always intend this readings to be timeless. Welcome new subscribers, thank you for being part of my channel. It's been really beautiful and interesting watching uh, the numbers grow and uh, I think I'm averaging like 40 or 50 new people um, a month. So I'm so grateful that you're really enjoying these messages and receiving from them. Speaking of receiving, I chose to work with the Mother Mary this week. Happy Mother's Day to those that are celebrating. Um, it can be... It can be a peculiar day for people, for women, um, and actually men out there too. My my brother is a single dad, and he is an awesome combination of mom and dad, uh, so I don't want to just single out women, uh, but it's a very interesting time. It can bring up a lot for people. You know, it can bring up memories. Maybe your mom is no longer here. Uh, maybe, you know, your life with your children didn't work out or, or go, or go according According to plan. Uh, maybe you finally are able to celebrate after years of not being able to celebrate Mother's Day. There's so many incident, incident, in, uh, incident, no, there's so many cases. <laughs> there's such a variation of this holiday and how people receive it. So before I started this reading, I was asking the Mother Mary to blanket messages of love and nurturing for all those that are watching uh, so um, you know I have such a an eclectic group of cards obviously I'm going to start with the mother uh, Mary queen of the angels messages get an overall message for you this week get some additional messages through nature's whispers of course nature is connected with mother nature mother earth um, then we'll tap into the energy of the soulful woman deck and then these have been these have become my new favorites uh, flower therapy I love these energies of course more nature maternal energy for you and then we'll finish up with an overall message of guidance from the angels for the week uh, so let me begin by opening up space Inviting in all your guardian angels and guides, the archangels, the ascended masters, God, source, creator of the universe, and all his holy beings of light who would like to assist with these messages for you today. I'm going to, I just imagine my heart connected to all those earth angels out in the world, connected to Mother Mary, queen of the angels. And I'm going to ask that the messages that come through be for your best and highest good and the best and highest good of all concerned. All right, Mother Mary, what message do you have for the collective this week? I think I'm going to go with this one. All right, compassion course. It says, I see and feel this other's points of view with forgiveness and kindness. So here's the thing with Mother's Day. Um, I, I actually chose You Are Loved specifically for a reason uh, because the mother energy has a lot of responsibility or takes on a lot of responsibility. And I feel like this card is coming in because like I said, Mother's Day can bring up a lot for people. <laughs> Maybe you're a mama who's going into Mother's Day and needs a break. Maybe all you're asking for is some time to yourself. Maybe you're going into Mother's Day <laughs> or starting the day or the week feeling a little burnt. A uh, lot of extra responsibilities, a lot of shake up. So I feel like Mother Mary, this is her sending down her loving compassion to you oh, I feel like she knows you've been through a lot and if you can take pause this day to receive 
her nurturing love. Uh, you know, usually when I need that maternal support, I call on Mother Ear- Mother Mother uh, Mary or the Blessed Mother, and I honestly I imagine myself curling up in her lap and just being hugged by that maternal, sacred, wise energy. And I always feel better after that. So I feel like some of you who are watching on this day need love and hugs. And so Mother Mary is compassionate towards you. Uh, She obviously knows what it's like to carry the weights and the burdens and the responsibilities of the physical world and the demands of the children. Uh, So I feel like she's saying to, to those of you who are feeling weary, I'm with you. I love you. I'm being compassionate towards you. Uh, And then for others, where it says, I see and feel others' point of view with forgiveness and kindness. So maybe some of you have gotten caught up in, you know, when you're tired, depleted, and drained energetically, it's easy to get short fused, annoyed, get caught up in drama. It's it's just a natural part of being human. But when you know this, you can shift out of it. So I'm feeling for those of you who have a heavy heart maybe going into this day or this week, uh, have compassion for yourself. Be able to forgive yourself for where you're at, what you may or may not have done. Uh, like I said, this this energy can really stir up a lot of different emotions in people. Uh, so even with the masculine energies in your own relationship with your mother, again, if your mother isn't here or you know what you didn't get to have with your mother and things like that. So have compassion for yourself. And then also too... I feel like, so okay, so, you know, I've had a full day of mediumship. I've been channeling all day. (laughs) So mediumship is in my energy, and I have to say, now this is obviously a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with everybody, but specifically, there's a collective of mothers out there who maybe weren't there for you emotionally, in the way that you needed it and I feel like there's a mother energy again this mother energy could have just passed or maybe you felt like you weren't there for this mother in the way that you felt like you should and you're feeling guilty about it Uh, there's a lot of people passing away right now uh, so I feel like this is a specific message from somebody or a collective of mothers that are on the other side and there's a portion that's saying you know I'm sorry I couldn't be there for you in the way you needed me to I had my own I had my own burdens and I didn't know and I didn't understand but I see clearly now and I'm sorry and then there's a collective of mothers who are on the other side where I'm feeling maybe you're having a hard time with the passing. Maybe you weren't able to be there. Maybe you're carrying guilt. And I feel like your mother on the other side wants to free you from this. And she's saying, it's okay. I know and I understand that you did the best you could. Um, and if it was supposed to be any other way, it would have. So I feel like this is a calling from mothers on the other side, reaching out to their children and wanting to make peace. Some of you may have been raised with mothers and you didn't feel loved or maybe you didn't feel good enough. I mean, it's an honest, common emotion and feeling that that people can have. And so there's a lot of compassion coming through this reading. So let me, before I say any more, let me get some additional messages from the Nature's Whispers. And all the decks I'm using are in the description box below. Uh, And if you have these decks, I encourage you to go into them. I mean, I only have a limited amount of time here uh, doing these. So if you have these decks, go into the books, pull them out and read. Maybe there's more information in there for you or you feel like you get really great messages from certain decks click on the links below and order them this is a beautiful way to start really enhancing your intuition and your own inner guidance and and your relationship with the divine all right so mother mary additional message on compassion what more would you like the collective to know So there's two here. Excuse me. I feel like I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> oh, excuse me. 
I <laughs> knew it was coming. Let's see here. Intuition. I was just talking about this. So trust your gut feelings on things. If you feel like you're intuitively connecting or, okay, so if you if you feel like the message that I just channeled could possibly be you, but you're not quite sure and you're like, ah, oh, it could be general. Uh, I feel like this is saying trust your intuition. It's interesting because, you know, this is uh, 36, three plus six equals nine. Nine is about endings, completions of cycles. So uh, maybe your life right now as a mom looks different and having some compassion for where you're at. Um, unfortunately, with the global pandemic and the, 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 the shutdown of the world that we're in right now, a lot of people's Mother's Days are going to look different. There'll be a lot of mamas and seniors out there who are alone and not able to celebrate with family and that might be a tough thing. So trust your intuition if you're getting guidance to call or video chat. Uh, even if you've had a, an estranged or a difficult relationship, if you're feeling your intuition and getting pulled uh, to reach out, do that. Uh, let's see here it's intuition itself is very feminine so okay so I also feel like there's a message right now for the mothers out there who are feeling a little burnt or feeling a little overwhelmed drained I, I, I feel like if you're feeling <laughs> feel 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 uh, if you are if you're wanting rest peace and quiet or a break but yet the mental part of you is like but I should I should do this and I should do that I feel like this is a message saying have some compassion for yourself you've been through a lot a lot of changes the world's been through a lot trust your intuition based on what it is that you need so you may feel like I just need to opt out I need to go somewhere I need to take a break go sit in my car you know but there's this guilt part of you that's saying well my kids wanted this and my kids wanted that use your intuition and trust that trust trust what you need to be trust trust that you know what you need and you're able to to express it illumination card number two uh, this is, for some of you this week, Mother Mary might shine a light on something in a way that you didn't see it before. It's interesting, she's looking at this moon. We just entered the phase of the full moon in Scorpio, which brings up a lot of emotions. Some of you may be feeling raw. Some of you may be feeling emotional. Uh, Scorpio, um, yep, Scorpio is a water sign. It needs to flow, it needs to move, and it's usually connected to emotions. Again, having compassion for yourself. Again, if you are short-fused or snappy, or maybe you're feeling guilty about something, have compassion passion for yourself trust your intuition on how to solve that or how to release the energy I think this week there are going to be things that are illuminated that you didn't get that you didn't see before so trust your intuition with that I feel like there's the collective is really fragmented it's not good or bad is there's just a lot happening uh, and so here I am trying to channel for this collective of feminine energy. Uh, but overall, for, for obviously the maternal energy wanting to shine down on you, overall I'm getting y'all need nurturing, love, feeling cherished. It's, you know, feminine energy grows and thrives by feeling an essence of love. This is why a lot of feminine energies are incredible at creating and they feel alive when they're receiving love. And unfortunately, in a lot of ways that's been taken away, we haven't been able to connect with our people, our churches, uh, mother nature in the way we want. There's a lot, all these rules and restrictions out there. And it's been really hard to navigate. And so I feel like mother nature herself is saying, trust your own intuition and what feels right 
for you. I know there's a lot of people getting caught up in what's right, what's wrong, what should be done, what shouldn't be done. But remember, everybody's coming from a different place, a different experience. Some people need to be a little more cautious because they have people out there with compromised immune systems. Uh, Other people are blessed to not have to worry about that. And so, of course, they want to speed things up. Nobody really is right or wrong. And they're all coming from their own perspective. So I feel like Mother Mary and even Mother Nature is saying, she's been speaking a lot through these readings. She's saying, Mother Earth, she's saying like, trust your own intuition on what's right for you and your family. There's going to be things that are going to be illuminated this week. So watch how things unfold. If you're not sure on an answer or you're not sure like what guidance ask and connect with the moon energy. The moon energy is the shadow energy. It's the feminine energy. It's the unseen, right? Uh, It's easy to become uh, afraid of the shadow because it's like if you, if obviously if you walk around in the dark (laughs) in your house, sometimes you get like that feeling like, oh, I don't want to stub my toe or bang my elbow. So you get a little more tense. And so when these moon phases come in, it's preparing you for a new cycle to come and uncertainty can elevate. And so, of course, we've got this uh, shut global shutdown and things are starting to awaken. It's starting to stir energy and feelings. And so I feel like Mother is saying, Mother Nature is saying, trust your own intuition and what's right for you and let everybody else do the same. If, you know, people make mistakes or they make the wrong decisions, well, that's how we learn. That's how we grow, right? So you have to really have compassion for other people's points of view. Um, I feel like now the messages are unfolding. I feel like I got like a spurt of like fragmented, but I feel like now we're coming into alignment on what the bigger picture is and really what the bigger messages are. Especially this week as more more things start to open in the world and people are trying to navigate action in this new space, this new vibration we're in. Okay, good stuff. So let me, let me get some flower therapy cards here. Additional messages. Mother Mary. And I'm really, I'm going to include Mother Earth too. <laughs> I shouldn't have sing, I shouldn't have separated them. So clearly Mother Nature, powerful, wants to be heard. Let me see. What additional message do you have for the collective this week? May 10th to the 16th, 2020. I'm going to pull two here. So we have Family Harmony, of course. And... additional message okay let's see all right so that too many of those came out here we go Uh, let your inner beauty shine beautiful pink see pink energy of love nurturing cherishing so if you can uh, be around the energy of chrysanthemums their beautiful harmonious energy so this card says family harmony it says your loved ones form a strong pillar of support embrace their love and put past issues behind you yeah, so this is speaking to the collective that may may be challenged by this day. Uh, maybe your Mother's Day looks very different. Maybe you're on social media and you see everybody celebrating and oh, their moms are so great and all these beautiful things and <laughs> maybe you don't feel that way and that's and that's fine, you know. Uh, we have we, we choose our parents for a reason. There's a lot to learn from that energy. Uh, and again, maybe you have to set some boundaries with who you're around and that may be a hard thing also for some of you I'm feeling you may be I'm gonna say you may be blocking how do I want to interpret this you may be stopping the flow of how your loved ones can love you so some of you maybe you're like it has to be a certain way and the the maternal energy is saying open up to different ways 
that your loved ones are loving you. Of course, you know, it brings up the love language book. Like some people will love you through acts of service. Some people will gift you. Some people will want to spend quality time with you. Some people it will be physical touch. Uh, so, so, so being open to all, like seeing the way people love you. How, how, how are you receiving love? I don't want to say it. Be open to how the world is loving you and not necessarily how you want the world to love you. That's it. And in that, it brings a a family harmony. It brings a harmony with the planet, community, family in general. I feel like there's a lot of maybe should haves regrets, especially if you're not able to have your family around you during this time. So let them maybe, so here's the thing, maybe somebody wants to buy you flowers or maybe somebody wants to come by and give you a card and you're like, no, I don't need anything, no. So so I feel like the angels are saying, like if that pops up, be open and receptive to how people want to show their love to you. You may not want it, but it actually might be a beautiful thing for you to allow them to give and it may brighten your day for you to receive. Interesting. Let your inner beauty shine. A pink rose. Roses are my favorite. I love roses. There's some, gosh, vibration that's powerful and strong and elegant in it. I love pink roses and yellow roses and red roses. So if you are seeing roses specifically that could be your loved ones from heaven uh, gifting you, uh, and also too, I feel like Mother Mary comes, Mother Mary and Mother Teresa come, their sign is roses, especially Mother Mary comes, for me, I see as pink roses of friendship and love and nurturing. So right here, I feel like some of you need this. You're, <laughs> you're being gifted this rose. You're being gifted this loving energy. You might not want it, or you might say, nah, don't spend your money, or nah, just clean the house and things like that. So really be open, being open to how people want to love you and just being receptive this week. This is your brilliant example of God's love. Everything about you is perfect. So let your light shine and inspire others. Again, this may be also a message for those who may be having a hard time with Mother's Day. You know, maybe you're not in the place that you thought you would be. Maybe Um, becoming a mother physically has been a challenge and it brings up stuff. Uh, Like I said, it's a very uh, weird energy of Mother's Day. It's such a, it's it's a, it's really a, a day of gratitude for the service and the unconditional love that moms and the maternal energy continues to show up to. And that's what we want to celebrate. So those of you who may not have your moms around or maybe you didn't have that type of relationship, I feel like Mother Mary and Mother Earth are coming in for you. They're like, they're, and they're saying, let us love you. Just go outside and let us love you. Uh, and it's like receive the beauty of maybe you've got, I don't know, I don't know a lot about flowers. Maybe you've got some flowers blooming and maybe there's some roses and being able to pause for a moment and being able to receive the beauty of mother nature that can be incredibly loving, nurturing and can cherish your soul, which in turn will lighten your mood and enhance your energy. And it really will really inspire you to give love. Beautiful. So this reading here is all feminine. (laughs) Intuition, illumination, family harmony, let your light shine, compassion with Mother Earth and Mother Nature and Mother Mary. Uh, It's all very loving. So let's see. Let's get another message from the Soulful Woman deck. What message of empowerment do you have for the collective this week? What message of empowerment? How do you want to empower the earth angels this week? In the flow. It says, when I am in the flow, 
magic happens. Again, more feminine energy. Again, it, it's being able to see the unseen. It's being able to, for example, the work that I do when I connect people with their loved ones and let's put this up here. When I connect people with their loved ones and I'm able to offer them guidance and support and validate what they already know, it's magical, right? It can be interpreted as magical, but it's really me t- tapping into my gifts of my feminine energy and through love I'm able to support people and and it's not a tangible thing like I can't uh, it's not like a car it's not like these cards that are physical and so I feel like mother nature and mother Mary is asking you to tap into that magical part of you that playful creative I've, I've always loved these cards because they're so colorful and they're so unique so if you're feeling like Things have to be a certain way and it's you've been a little bit in control and, and, and a little bit of rigid, which is normal, but resistance actually creates pain in the body and um, heartache and sadness. And so I feel like this card is coming in reminding you to move, to flow, to dance. Um, I, I, I did a podcast on a Tony Robbins event that I went to. Uh, I'll actually link it. It's a really good podcast. I'll link it in the description box below. But I talked about one of the best things that I learned and I came out of that was the art of le- letting go and the the mantra that I came out of it of that event with I was I was part of a their crew team and I was the behind the scenes and there was leadership training and the guy who's leading it said first and foremost here we are it's five o'clock in the morning and we're already off schedule he said so this is what you have to remember flexibility is fun flexibility is fun and this is an amazing it was an amazing mantra for me like when things didn't work out or I was tired and I was supposed to be somewhere I really had to practice the art of being present with myself and be in flow and make changes and adjust and so maybe this is going to be a week where you're going to have to practice flexibility and being at fun right being able to go with the flow some of you maybe need to dance and create movement and flow that's been one of the fa- my favorite things to do uh, during this this quarantine is to turn on all different kinds of music sometimes it's a Luke Bryan playlist or then it's a Nora Jones playlist or then it's a Taylor Swift playlist or then it's a, a country love song playlist and so I really I think that's one of the things that have really gotten me through this time is being able to be inspired by music because it invoked movement and invoked energy in me so if you're feeling tired drained and depleted or you're feeling backed up and stuck really soften this week open up to flow and you can even call on mother Mary and mother nature and ask them to show you uh, mother nature is brilliant at letting go right things pass and die and then they come back and they uh, there's a ton of cycles and rhythms and here we are in a cycle in a rhythm endings and new beginnings in a way that we've never experienced it before so it's normal to feel out of control and wanting to control your environment so I feel like I feel like the feminine energy this week is saying, hey, we get you, we understand. The best way, the best pathway to relief is play and laughter and fun and joy. Okay, final message here from the daily guidance. What what daily guidance can the collective take with them this week? There it is. Blessings and dis... Oh, there's two of them here. Okay, so blessings in disguise, of course. See, families on the bottom. Two family cards here. Uh, again, looking at things the way they are, not the way we expect them to be. Some of you, it's being extra grateful for your family. I just got off the, I just got off the computer with a family who lost a loved one tragically, and uh, it was a difficult loss. And um, beautiful messages came through. A lot of laughter, tears. Uh, and so again we don't understand why things happen the way they do again I I feel like this is speaking to those of you who may have lost somebody and maybe this is the first year that you don't have your mom around or that person that was like a mother figure to you 
And so it's like, look for the blessings. There's always light in the darkness. We, you know, I always see as, as a medium, and I work with a lot of tragic cases. I work with people who have lost loved ones in a very difficult way, abruptly, through addiction, overdose, suicide. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's part of the work that I'm, I'm guided to, guided to, to, to do. And I've always seen, like, through the loss, through the tragic loss of that person, there was an awakening in another way. Or there was something else that was birthed through that experience. And so I feel like... No matter where you are at today, when you're reading this, and what the unforgiveness was, the place that you're in, your expectations, if you can just know and believe and have faith that God does have a plan, and there's a blessing in the disguise, and you may not know it. You might not know it for another year or two years. You might not be able to look back and say, ah, I see the good that came from that you may not be in that place hence you know trusting your intuition illumination shining your light um again i'm I'm kind of feeling another message for those of you who are intuitive healers know that you are illuminating through your intuition and there's a calling this week for you to shine your light in the world and that you may be hiding or putting things off and so know that when you do that and connect with that energy uh, you're creating more of a family on this planet And so the message here says, what appears to be a problem is actually part of your answered prayer. You'll understand the reasons behind your present situation as everything resolves. Trust in the heavens protection and infinite wisdom to answer your prayer in the best possible way. And I feel like this speaks to the part of the collective that may be having a difficult time um, this this day or this week and it's bringing up a lot of memories a lot of emotions a lot of regrets again and that's part of the human experience so how can you tap into your intuition illumination how can you look for the blessings in disguise and see the light in the situations this card came up in another way i think in another reading some of you (laughs) again How are you being prickly? How are you creating your own circumstance and situation? How are you repelling energy? So the message, this is be honest with yourself, says look into your heart and you will know the truth of this situation. It's safe to admit the truth to yourself for we will support and guide you through any necessary changes. Lean upon us for courage and the strength to take good care of yourself. Focus upon only your true desires and they'll come to you upon angels' wings. I think this is speaking what we were talking about earlier with with having compassion for yourself and where you're at. Be honest with yourself doesn't mean be hard on yourself and be tough with yourself. That's not what I'm saying. Be honest if you need extra love. Be honest with yourself if you're feeling extra sensitive and emotional. And then how do you soothe that part of you? How do you nurture that inner part of you? It could be your inner child that's sad, right? Uh, And how do you really tap into that instead of forging through? Because again, a lot of you aren't able to do the things that you would do. A lot of you aren't able to escape into restaurants and concerts and social engagements and all those distractions they're a beautiful thing but a lot of people can escape into them and so maybe this week it's this mother's day energy is going to stir up a lot of stuff for you and you need to be reminded of that part of you that needs to be nourished that needs to be reminded that you are loved regardless of how other people's point of views or or regardless of what people expect from you or what you didn't get to do and and those things. There's a lot of grief during this time, Uh, just a lot of loss in general. You know, we have kids that uh, are graduating who didn't get to celebrate in the way that they thought they'd be able to. And so this is that part of being in the flow and acceptance this week, accepting things as they are. We may not like it, but once we can accept it, it opens up to the possibility of being able to see the blessings and guys being able to move through unforgiveness finding that place of acceptance through forgiveness and and it will be able to enhance your inner light illuminating the blessings in disguise uh, and really enhancing your intuition on how to move forward one step at a time 
whew, that was a lot. I, and like I said, there's a lot of messages in this reading. So please take what your heart felt hit you and leave the rest for others because <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't think this whole reading is going to fit many. Um, like the whole reading is going to touch. But it certainly can. Maybe you've got a lot of different things happening in your life and each of those different messages can relate in some way. So... Uh, let me know in the comments or give me a like if this resonated with you. Again, so much feminine energy. That's That's been my calling. I've done a lot of inner work the last couple of years on activating my own inner feminine energy. And I am, I am a being of love. That's who I am. And working with the goddess energy, Aphrodite and uh, Guinevere. Again, if you're called to this feminine energy, if you feel like you've been listening to that inner critic, and you've been hard on yourself and there's these expectations of family harmony and it's not like that how do we kind of really strip raw and get back to the essence of what you're truly aligned with it really comes from going to god uh and in 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 first and being able to some some experiences that that humans have the solution is way beyond the human the way uh, the way a human or the, excuse me let me see let me reset some experiences that we go through are beyond the human experience meaning that we are unable to problem solve these experiences and it really is through the power of the divine so maybe some of you will get a miracle maybe some of you will be getting the answers to your prayers maybe things will unfold maybe just being able to forgive people, places, things, and ideas as they are and being able to accept it may open up the healing, may open up the miracle. Just like where it says here, focus only upon your true desires and they'll come to you upon angels' wings. So how do you focus on the joy, the laughter, the play, the the blooming of Mother Earth right now? She's blooming. The grass is so green. The flowers on trees are gorgeous and vibrant. And how do we get to savor those moments to light to lighten you up and like I said all this other stuff comes from there okay so I am finished I've been channeling all day Whew, let me close space thank all your guardian angels and guides the archangels the ascended masters god source creator of the universe and all his holy beings of light that held space for these messages i want to thank mother mary and mother earth mother nature the blessed mother however that resonates with you uh, and i want to ask that any healing that was started through these messages continue for as long as it needs to be done and so it is all right friends so i am still available for video chat sessions uh, i am still taking time off from the office i'm in very limited appointments in the office uh, hardly any at all uh, only for special cases and uh, so video chat has been phenomenal zoom has been amazing i'm still available for groups if you have a group of friends or family members that want to get together groups of six we could do that you can always email me uh, if you want to connect with a loved one, you know, my divine guidance and my life purpose, my mediumship readings, they're still discounted. They're not as deeply discounted as they were for April, but I did not, um, I've not yet gone back to the original pricing. So they're they're discounted, but not as deep as um, April. So June, they probably will, it'll probably go back up to the way they were, my online, my online sessions. So Again, you have another couple weeks to get somewhat of a discount if you've been kind of hanging on it or you're not sure. Or, of course, if you have any questions, email me. Um, you know, I'd be happy to uh, soothe your soul. So thank you so much for watching. It's always a pleasure. It's always a blessing and a gift to be able to do this work for you. Thank you for being open and receptive to it. I love you for it. God loves you so much. Trust in the divine. Trust your intuition, and I send you love with heavenly hugs. Bye for now.